All right, so you finished the glitch. And uh, if you notice at the end of his video, if you watch that, that he's able to import any other photograph that he wants and have these same steps applied to the glitch, much like an action. Um, the way he does that is the reason he kept this top layer right here, even though it's turned off. Um, see, we still have our original smart object. And the reason it is a smart object is for the reason I'm about to show you. So uh, if you turn that top layer back on, double click it, sorry, actually double click on the thumbnail of that layer, you will see now that we have two tabs up here. Um, we have uh, the background, all of our layers are gone, um, but they are right here. So if you double click on this background layer and hit OK so we can rename it, We'll eventually get rid of it. Um, go ahead and hit file and then place linked. And then you could pick any other photograph that you'd want. Um, you could uh, probably resize it to make it uh, at least the same, about the same dimensions as your original photograph. You can highlight that bottom layer. You can uh, delete it. Um, then you can hit control S to save it. Um, and once that's done, you can exit out of that. And we see now that that layer is been switched. All these layers have been now switched with the new photograph, but yet it doesn't look like anything has happened. Uh, the reason that is because this top layer is still on. So if we turn this off and we see that we've now added, um, all those, uh, that glitch effect to the, um, other photograph. So kind of like an action. Um, so that's one way you can use uh, these, uh, like a smart up, smart object for that. So you can double click on it. Um, you can uh, file place linked, add uh, any other photograph that you'd want. Um, I'm going to try this time without getting rid of that top layer and see what happens. And we can see right here that it is now added to that. Um, so you could do it without, and you can still always make these adjustments in here. If you need to move one of those, one of these, uh, like the green layer over a little bit more, uh, you can. So, I mean, it, you, you still have the, the, those options. Um, but so that's kind of a nice thing. Maybe you could turn this off and then save it. Uh, and then now that goes back in. So you don't even have to necessarily get rid of your original layers either uh, for that smart object. It could just kind of hold all of those in there. Um, you would just turn them off and on depending on how how you want it. Obviously the top one uh, is going to be shown uh, first and you just make sure you hit save or control S every time you can hit control W It's a shortcut to exit out of a tab. Um, and then now we see that. So uh, that is another cool little trick, uh, much kind of like the action uh, that you can use to make your life easier as far as uh, editing goes, especially if you're doing like a, a complex edit. Um, and, uh, there you go.